Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Virginia Tech Hokies and the Boise State Broncos. Hold on to your seats because we've got an incredible matchup coming your way early in this college football season. And here come the Broncos. The Hokies seem to have the better team. They should win this game. What do you think, Kirk? Virginia Tech will have one of the best defensive players in the nation on display here. You rarely see a linebacker that can do the things that this young man can do. If you don't know him yet, you soon will. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. Yo, I love Virginia Tech in this one. This one's almost underway, so we're about to find out real quick just how smart of a pick that was, Coach. Boise State has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Kicks it off. Fogel takes it from the six. Kickoff return, 20 yards. Number 88 on the return. I really think this defense is going to have a difficult time covering this talented athlete at wide receiver. They don't have anyone who can cover him one-on-one, -on -one, so he could be in for a huge day. He's the most dangerous weapon on his team, and there's really no one on the other sideline who can cover him. This game has all the makings for a big day for this young man. It sure does, and I'm ready for this one. and 12 coming up here. Ball on 24. Weeks back in the gun. Gets past the tackler. And down he goes. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. First and ten. Ball in their own 47. The Hokies go with the eye formation. They'll run the option. A lateral. Burton with a takedown. That'll be a gain of three yards. Three-yard gain on the play. A second down and seven to go. Ball right around midfield. Three wide outs here. Weeks back to pass. He takes off. Has some daylight. Battle brings him down. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and ten. Ball in the 35. The Hokie come out in a two tight end set. Again, he'll get the call. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. The Hokie line up with two tight ends. Smith on the handoff. Lee with a takedown. He picks up a yard on the play. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 37-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Weeks back to throw, looking, throws it to the outside, has it to the senior. He's all the way home, touchdown. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year, utilizing 
high school, this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. And he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Virginia Tech to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Tompkins fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 21-yard line. High formation here. Lindsay runs a counter. Hall brings him down. Four-yard gain by the back. Gain of four on the play. Second and six. Ball on their own 25. They line up in an eye. Smith drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. It's tipped. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 25-yard line. Nickel defense. Uh-oh, high snap. Looks. He's rolling left. It falls incomplete. And they're going to get somebody for interference on that play. Let's see who the call is on. Pass interference on the defense. 15 they flagged the defender for interference. Yep, they saw him get there just before the ball for the penalty. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. Boise State lines up with three receivers. He's looking. The senior makes the catch. Hall with a takedown. Move those sticks. That's a first down and a great catch, too. Did you see how he put that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. It's first and 10. They're threatening inside the 20. High formation here. Lindsay takes a hand off. Robinson tackles him for a loss on the play. He might have grabbed his face mask there. Here's the call from the referee. We've got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. He wasn't careful enough and got a hand on the guy's face mask. That will go as a five-yard penalty for grabbing his face mask. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Boise State comes out with an eye formation. They go with a run. Spin move. Hall brings him down. That's the dazzling speed we've been hearing about, folks. What a run to keep the chains moving. Speed kills. It's as simple as that. Yep, there's no way a linebacker has any chance of catching this guy. The Bronco go with the eye formation. Lindsay on the handoff with the spin. Touchdown, Boise State. They gave it to the halfback, and he got up the score. But well, this kid's got great vision. He knows how to find the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Boise 
State to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Fogel fields it at the three. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll get the ball here at the 23. Virginia Tech comes out with two tight ends. He might have a chance. And they make the stop. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. It's second down and two to go. Ball on their own 31. Virginia Tech comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Gilbert on the run. And he's tackled. Nothing going on that one. No game on the play. Third and two. Ball on the 31. The Hokie. Line up in a goal line formation. On the ground with the tailback. Got an opening. With a takedown. And they get a nice gain on third down. Remember when we talked to the coach? He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense. And he felt that he may have some success. Well, they had some success on that play. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one. And we're all tied up. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. They line up in a double tight set. Weeks with the give. Clemens brings him down for a loss. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 48. The Hokies come out in a two tight end set. Gilbert again. He can scoop. Uh oh, brings him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. It's first and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Weeks lines up in the shotgun. Weeks on first down, looking, and they get the sack. And the defensive lineman comes up with a big sack. That's a great individual effort right there, but I'll tell you what, the reason that play was successful was because they came with the blitz on it. You're right, they sent one more guy than they had blockers for. Second and long, this is the seventh play of this drive. The Hokies line up with two tight ends. Wants to throw outside. Picked off. There he goes. Down the sideline. Inside the 30. Goodbye. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that can happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. the PAT. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter, our score, Boise State 14, Virginia Tech 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Vito fields it in the end zone. The defense bent about as far back as you can that last series before getting the interception. Hey, a defense can do somersaults or even a triple south count just as long as they keep the offense on the end zone. Did you just say south count? Yep, 
I dated one back in college. Man, could she go. Weeks hands it off. Has some daylight. And down he goes. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. Virginia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. He'll get it again. Got an opening. Giffano with a takedown. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 38. From the gun. Drops back. He steps up. Looks. He tosses it short. Complete. There he goes. And they make the stop. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Hokies come out in a two tight end set. On the ground with the tailback. Jed's a tackler. They'll bring him down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Virginia Tech comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Throws it to the outside. He might have a chance. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. And he makes his second visit to the end zone for that catch. Well, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Weddle, ready to kick. Kicks it deep. Lindsay fields it in the end zone. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? Start the drive at the 21 -yard line. Boise State sets up in the eye. Lindsay on the give. He spins, and he's hit hard. One, two, three, Kirk. He might be out from the count. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you got to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back. He's looking. Down the middle. He's got it. Brought down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 42. They line up in an eye. A little misdirection. He tries to spin. Big opening. Daniel. Brings him down. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. High formation here. Again, he'll get the call. Call with a takedown. Six yard pickup. Gain of six on the play. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 33. The Broncos go with the I formation. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. The ball is tipped. The linebacker managed to break that one up. Third and four. Ball on the 33-yard line. 
Boise State goes with the ace set here. Smith steps back to pad. Looking. Throws to the middle. Another catch. Nixon brings him down. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. Lindsay runs a counter. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. That brings up second and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. Smith options out to the left. They'll bring him down. Smith on the run. No gain on the play. It's third and goal, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. They line up in the shotgun. Smith on the option. Got an opening. Touchdown, Boise State. What a nifty, nifty run by the field general, guys. It sure was. He's got a lot of talent in those players. the PAT. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac has been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Boise State ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Vito fields it at the two. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll set up shot at the 21-yard line. They line up in an eye. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle. Short little game there, just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Boise State 21, Virginia Tech 14. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. He hits a booming kick. Tompkins fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 21-yard line. High formation here. Smith hands it off. Here he goes. Wallace with a takedown. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think there's anybody on the field right now that could beat this guy in a foot race. I agree, Brent. He's in a class by himself when it comes to speed. And you can't coach that kind of speed. You either got it or you don't. First and ten. Ball on their own 35. The Bronco line up in an eye formation. Lindsey will run it again. Spins upfield. Wallace brings him down. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Second and four coming up here. Ball on their own 41. The Bronco come out in a shotgun. Here's the option left. Now he pitches it. Little shake and big move. Green with a monster hit. 
First down, and man, oh man, can he fly. Whew, that guy looks like a track star out there. Good looking run. First and 10, ball on the 49 yard line. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Smith, back to pass, looks. He's looking down the middle. Someone got a hand on him. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. It's second down and 10 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Bronco line up with three wide. He drops back. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. He's got it. And down he goes. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Offsides on the defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First down and five to go. Ball on the 22. Lindsay will run it again. He's on the run. Broke away from one. What an athlete. Does this guy have some wheels or what? He's the fastest player on the football field right now. You can't name another guy out there who can beat this kid in a race. Mm. I would say one of those corners, but I don't think they could keep up with him either. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. On the ground with the tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. They'll work from the shotgun. Options out. Pitches back. Loose football. Ashley recovers a loose ball. They tried the option there, and now they're on their way to the sideline. You're not going to stay on the field very long with sloppy play like that. I don't care if you're running the option or not. There's just no excuse. I'll tell you what. Write this down. The team with the most takeaways at the end of the year will have a winning record, and the teams with the most giveaways will have a losing record. It's been that way as long as I've been around this game. They line up in a double tight set. Inside here, Yuku, and he's tackled. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second and 10, ball on their own eight. Virginia Tech comes out in the shotgun. They'll give it off here. Miss tackle. Big opening. Tackle. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Hokies come out in the ace formation. They'll give it off here. Shifty move there. They gained five yards there. Five-yard gain on the play. Second down and five. Ball on the 36. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Has it to the senior. 
That was a big time play and a new set of down. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, coach. Well, I don't blame them. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Three wideouts here. Drop back to pass. He passes it. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. They'll work from the shotgun. Chucks it deep down the right side. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. He's got three touchdown passes in this game. And that last one was the best of the bunch, if you'd ask me. Great throw, great catch. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Lindsey fields it in the end zone. He spins around. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. They'll take over at the 13-yard line. Take over at the 13-yard line. The Broncos line up with three wide. Smith to the air on first down. Throws it to the outside. Oh, great catch. And he's all the way down to the 41. Wow, nice catch. Way to look at him. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. The Broncos. Come out in the shotgun. Smith on first down. Looking. Throws down the middle. His receiver has it. Brought down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it. And now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. First and ten, ball on the 33. The Broncos line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down, rolling out to the right side. It is he throws. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Ace backfield. He drops back. Looks. Rolls to the right. Over the middle. He's asking to get picked off. That was a close one, all right. If no one's open, there's nothing wrong with tucking it in and trying to pick up the first on the ground. Third down and ten coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. High formation here. Smith, back to throw. He's looking. Across the middle. The ball is tipped. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Boise State comes to the line with three wide. Here's the call from the referee. Okay. Okay. 
So that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. The kick is up. And that's the end of the third quarter. And we'll head into the final quarter of play with a score all knotted up. They'll start this drive at the 38-yard line. Single set back for you. Setting up the play action. He tosses it short, and it's caught. Schifano with a takedown. They complete that play action pass. Good for seven yards. Second and three. Ball on the 45-yard line. Virginia Tech comes out with two tight ends. Here's the give. He jukes it, and he's tackled. That's a three-yard pickup. Three-yard gain on the play. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 48-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. Johnson brings him down, and they get the first down. Just a simple give to the fullback, and he gets enough for the first. I like this call. Short yardage situation, just give it to the big guy. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Hokey come out showing three wide. Weeks drops back on first down. It's intercepted. Vogel with a takedown. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there. The quarterback needs to make better decisions. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Boise State comes out with an I formation. Up the middle. Spin move. There's a missed tackle. Robinson brings him down. Five-yard pickup for the tailback. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 38. They come out with three wide receivers. Here's the option. And they hit him in the backfield. Good play by the defense. They broke up the option before it got started. I'll tell you what. The quarterback has to be more decisive than that. Either get it to the back of the outside or take the ball, find a seam, and cut up field. Smith with three wide receivers. Smith drops the throw. Looking. He rolls left. He's going left. It's high, and he makes the catch. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. High formation here. Inside give. He breaks free. And down he goes. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. <laughs> if anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. And there's a fumble. Robertson with a recovery. The offense will keep possession after the fumble by the running back. It's a good thing they can't afford a turnover right now.
The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Lindsay on the inside handoff. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Boise State. There's number two on the day. The coach loves giving the football to this running back. You know why? Because he knows how to find the end zone. the PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. West is lined up to kick this one off. We should have a return on this one. Vito fields it at the three. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now you'll find out how much faith they've got in this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? They'll set up shot at the 16-yard line. Virginia Tech goes with the A set here, and he's taken down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Virginia Tech lines up for the shotgun set. With the throw. Complete. Knocked out of bounds. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Third and two. Ball on their own 24. Virginia Tech comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Inside gives, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. With a takedown. Oh, was that a close call or what? I'll tell you what, I am shocked that they kept this football on the ground, but they executed it perfectly and kept this drive alive. Boise State calls a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 27. Virginia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. Weeks set to go to the air. He lobs it out to the left side. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Taken back three yards. The Hokie come out of the ace formation. Weeks steps back to pass. And it's caught. Lee brings him down for a loss. Virginia Tech takes a timeout. Third and 14 coming up here. This is the seventh play of this drive. Two tight ends here. Weeks drops back. Throws to the middle. It's deflected. He looks to be hurt down there. the pass off and he's sacked. 
And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll get the ball here at the 17. And he takes a knee. Virginia Tech calls a timeout. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Bronco go with the I formation. Smith gives it up the middle. And he's tackled. Virginia Tech takes a timeout. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Bronco line up in an I formation. Lindsay gets the call. He's hit and got away. No can do on that run. That'll bring up fourth down. Well, you're absolutely right. Those guys got in there and shut them down, and now they're all fired up. Lines up, hoping to extend the lead and make it a two-score game. He gets it up, and he got it. Let's take a glance now from Pontiac Drive Zone. West, ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Beto. Fields it in the end zone. A confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. They'll take over at the 21. Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. Steps up. Got some open field. Lee brings him down. And this ball game's over. Kirk, any final thoughts here? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Virginia Tech had a few missed opportunities in this game. I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer and they might even have won this game. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2006. And again, our final score in this one, Boise State 31, Virginia Tech 21. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.